96 years ago, women made history with the 19th Amendment, giving them the right to vote. On Tuesday, Hillary Clinton fell just short of advancing that history, trying to become the first female president in the U.S. To many in the women's movement, that defeat was a major disappointment. But Dave Delosier joins us with how even in defeat, Hillary Clinton may have moved the bar for women, Dave. Yeah, Eric, you know, um, on Tuesday night, Hillary Clinton hoped to claim victory on a stage at the Jacob Javits Center in New York City. Above that stage was a symbolic glass ceiling. Hillary Clinton did not win the White House or break through any glass ceilings, but she did set a stage for the future of women. This seems like this is something that's really timely. In a classroom at Madison College, Julia Hoslite teaches a class in women's studies that includes seeing history that some don't. I think the United States has amnesia as far as history goes. Especially when it comes to recognizing powerful women who have led countries like German Chancellor Angela Merkel. So we act like, oh my God, women have never been leaders. And the reality is women have been leaders throughout history. You but in the U.S., no woman has ever been at the top of a presidential ticket of a major political party until Hillary Clinton. Her defeat on Tuesday night came as both a surprise and a disappointment to the women's movement. It would have meant everything to a lot of women, including myself. It was a message that we mattered and that people took us seriously and that our time had arrived. On election night, Hillary Clinton hoped to stand on a stage beneath a symbolic glass ceiling at the Jacob Javits Center, the first woman president of the United I States. I know we have still not shattered that highest and hardest glass ceiling, but someday someone will, and hopefully sooner than we might think right now. She didn't get to crack it all the way, but she's a trailblazer. And whenever you're the trailblazer, you're the one who takes the bullets. I mean, she really took the bullets in this fight. And so that actually makes it easier for the next one and the next one and the next one until we get it. Now, perhaps Hillary Clinton's most important message in her concession on uh, Tuesday, or I'm sorry, on Wednesday, was when she was the one she delivered to young girls. Um, Eric, she told them to never give up on their dreams. Dave Delosier joining us in studio tonight. Dave, thank you.